I was an antique dealer and I had a shop. My customers used to come in my shop and say, we have got deck chairs in our shed and we can't find any covers for them. And I thought if I could source some canvas, then it may be a good product to sell online. It coincided with a trip to India where I found some stripy fabric in a market and bought as much as I could, put them in my shop and they flew out. We set up the website and immediately there were results. The phone didn't stop ringing, we just couldn't get enough canvas sent over quick enough. But there comes a point where the cash flow isn't enough. We had completely run out of resources. We needed to have more stock because we were selling it so quickly and we'd got into the realms of starting to pay wages, we'd started to run at costs. Our website was looking very dated. We had goods coming in, sitting at the docks and we couldn't clear them. That was how crucial it was. We spoke to the banks, we went down all the routes, you know, we'd, we were building a business in a recession. The banks had shut their doors to borrowers. My husband had found the funding circle online and said this would actually be perfect if we wanted to pay off the loan very quickly, there's no penalty. We applied, they approved our application, they put it up on the site and within three days it was completely oversubscribed so we got our loan very quickly. We've now set up an Australian website and we're shortly going to be setting up an American website. We've been uh, used in television, we supplied a lot of furniture for Downton, opera, theatre, ballet, films, we've done some Hollywood movies using our fabrics. I really feel I can identify with our investors because they are the sort of people who we want to love our company. We love you and please keep coming back and investing in the future because the business will progress. The funding circle will be the place we would go. Peer-to-peer -peer lending is the way forward without a shadow of a doubt.